Hi, this is Peter Dax Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your astrology reading here for Cancer October 2019. So that's Cancer October 2019. Right, so you Cancerians, great, wonderful people, but you can be a bit deep, a bit within yourself, but nothing wrong with that. But sometimes now it's like you may sort of feel like you want to change yourself a little bit, like changing your personality. Now that is very, very difficult to do. I'm a big believer we all can change, we all can adapt, we all can become somebody different to a point, but we can't really change who we are, it's who we are, it's it's what we're meant to be, but I just feel that there's certain aspects of your personality that I feel so you can pinpoint and you can perhaps focus your energy on that, but just saying right I'm going to become a different person, it ain't going to happen, it just isn't. And anybody who says, oh, you can change, you become this, you can become that. Oh, crap. It really is. So we are who we are. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that we can't sort of say, right, well, I'm not doing that job no more. I'm not saying that. But that's not your personality. That's just you changing your outlook or the way you do things. But your personality is where you may ever endeavour. You may speak your mind. You may not speak your mind. You may be within yourself. That's your personality. You can tweak it, but you can't change it. It's who you are. You, it's, it's like your DNA. You were born like that. But like I say, there are certain things that you could perhaps just focus and tweak it a little bit. So you perhaps try a little bit harder not to be like that. But it's so, so difficult to do because suddenly it's like you're saying to yourself, right, I'm not going to, I'm going to stop deep thinking. God, you just can't. But the way to say it is, right, sometimes I'm not going to overthink things too much when I need to be doing something. I'm going to try and take a bit more of a leap of faith instead of sort of thinking and thinking and thinking and I've got to come back to it, do or do it, and I go through all the motions again when it's just delaying me alive. But if I can just say, well... This is one thing really I shouldn't overthink about. I should just do it and let's just see what happens. But the chances are tomorrow you're back to overthinking it again or the next thought or the next idea or the next situation because you can't change. But sometimes you just know something. Do you know what? I've, I've really got to do this. No matter how difficult it is, I've just got to get on with it. And maybe you'll just deep think about it while you do it. But at least you've nudged yourself to push that forward because you know if you don't do it, you could have missed the opportunity or missed the boat. And it's like, and you don't want to do that. But like I say, it's not easy. It's certainly not easy. <clears throat> we are who we are. It's a bit like myself. I keep questioning sometimes whether I should be doing this. Constantly, constantly. And up here, I keep thinking I should be doing something else. And and it's like a distraction. Um, And it's like... And then sometimes it's when things go quiet or oh, should be doing something else. You know, this is, this is not working. It's not working. It's not what I should be doing. So then I'll go and do something else. And, and it never works. But I keep doing it. It's like I've got to have a go. But then it delays me because if I had to put that energy into this and focus it on a particular error on it, I could have got some work from it. Where's that? I've done it. I've made no money, but it's done nothing. But you can't help yourself. It, it's your personality draws you to it. It's like sometimes you just can't always focus or when things don't go your way, you get down. You can't help it. It's your personality. So I know what it's like. But if we can just tweak ourselves, but like this me this morning saying, right, I've done what I've done. I've shifted my focus again, but I've done it. We'll see what happens. But... Right, I know what I need to do. So I've got up this morning and I put all these astrology videos on and I'm going to do it all in one day. Because I know if I do one or two a year, I get bored, I get distracted and I thought, bang, I'm going to do them all in one day. So in other words, I focused. And when I focus, I can get things done. So this is what I'm saying about you Cancerians as an example. You know, you can't change who you are because it is who you are. But if you can pinpoint something that you want to better yourself, change yourself about, you do it. Because I'm not saying you can't, but you cannot change who you are completely. 
Okay, now when it comes to love life a little bit now, for those of you who are connected, I just feel so now, but sometimes you can still doubt things a little bit. And I just feel so don't. I just feel so what you need to do now is just put a little bit of energy back into what you've got. And I feel like the person that you connect with or you or, or they connect with you, I feel like they love you for all your little faults and warts and whatever else. Because although you may be like this kind of deep thinking, sometimes a bit up and down, but they do see a very caring, sensitive side to you. And that's what they love you for. So the other side they may get a bit frustrated with sometimes when you're not settled because they want you to be settled. But then they do see this positive side to you and that's what's drawn them to you. So sometimes you're worrying about, oh, are they happy with me, blah, 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 and all this. And I just feel so just don't, just settle. They would have never been with you in the first place if they thought what you're thinking. So just settle into what you've got if anything just put a little bit of energy into it or don't go changing yourself but just surprise them do something nice a gift a generous gift or cook them a meal whatever it may be and show them why they chose you so in other words you're not changing your personality by doing that you're just showing them love emotion thought care and that is why they chose you Okay, now those of you single, I just get the feeling you've got all those qualities and I feel like now you just need to try and connect with somebody and show those qualities and they will love you for that. But it's about finding that right one and sometimes it isn't easy because you've got to draw to that person. You've got to feel like you can connect with them, but it's not so much draw to them, connect them, find them, show them all that emotion, that care and thought. You've got to learn to trust and trust is a big major issue. But I feel gradually you will get over that trust. It's just taking a bit of time, perhaps a little bit longer than you thought. But sometimes, again, you've got to take that leap of faith instead of keep overthinking it. Oh, don't trust, don't trust, don't trust. Got to have a bit of faith. And then as you do that, I feel so you'll be absolutely fine. So just keep doing what you're doing and things will definitely work out for you. And when it comes to family, I just feel so yes, be there for them, but don't try and fix everything. Family can be quite draining, but I feel like everything will be OK there. But just don't overanalyze things too much because it will tire you out. And for those of you who've got children, I just get the feeling, you know, children are doing OK. I feel like they've got some of your positive uh, attributes. So I feel like they're going to do well in life. They're going to be OK. So you haven't got to worry about children. But do watch one particular girl where I just feel so she just lack this confidence a little bit. And I feel like now she needs to lift up. Give herself a little bit of a pack on the back and say, she, she can do it. Because sometimes she's a bit like you, a bit sort of picky and choosy and picks faults with herself and she doesn't need to. She's doing great as she is. She's wonderful. She's got a lovely personality. All she's got to be careful of, she doesn't give too much away to other people. And then I feel with work, I feel as though this is a great time for you to believe in yourself and to sort of take control of something and push it forward. Because there's no emotion involved here, although you will give emotion. But then as you get that really positive outlook, it has a ripple effect on everything else around you. So if anything, I would say start to look at careers. So if you're not quite happy what you're doing, go and change it. Go and find something you truly want to be doing. And if you've got it, love it, breathe it, enjoy it, be positive about it. And you'll take all that lovely energy home with you. And it will have a ripple effect on everything else because it lifts you up. It motivates you. Again, with that, money will build up. Money's okay. Some of you got to do a little bit of tidying up. But don't be too tight with money. Money's not too bad. Just look after it and you'll be all right. Health-wise, I'm just being drawn to keep an eye on your knees a little bit, keep an eye on your right ear playing up, and and also, some of you may be suffering with aches and pains a little bit, so I'm being drawn to acupuncture because I've just seen needles going in the back of your backs. Um, so I think that could be really good, and it's not as painful as you think, um, because it's like it's just touching the outside of your body. Um, so you'll, you'll be okay with that. I think it'd be really, really good for you. It's like it really 
relieves tension. Well, if you're not really drawn to that and it really frightens you, the, the, the force of needles going in the back of your body, which I could understand, uh, go and look at some Reiki or crystal healing or spiritual healing. Go somewhere where, you know, they've got that right setup where it's relaxing. And I think that will be absolutely wonderful for you. It's about chilling now. In fact, that would be really good for all you Cancerians. It'd be amazing for you. Not got too much to say about the home. I feel like you like a nice home, so I feel like you're doing that. You may change things a little bit, but yeah, you'll, you'll do what's right with home, so I'm not worried about that. So just make sure now you focus on those things that I've said, but you'll be absolutely fine. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you do want any private readings, please do come back to me, and, and I hope all that's made sense to you. So I wish you well, I wish you the best, and just try not to overthink things too much. Okay. Thank you for listening.